Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with the fastest tier 10 medium tank in the game and um, this tank is loved by many players as well although for some reason it is not my vehicle I just do not have a bond with this tank if I can say so CS63, we will try to do everything what we can in order to make this tank work and funny fact this tank holding my damage record for quite some time i did 11,000 damage with it i don't know how i don't know why but um it happened right i am going to play very very aggressively with this vehicle hopefully it will work and hopefully i won't regret my life choices so first things first what is what this tank is good at this tank is very good at taking positions in time um since this vehicle is so quick, it is not a rocket science by any shape or by any form to go in and to be in position just like so, right? This is definitely um, a positive thing about this vehicle, if I can say so. Now, what is the negative thing? The gun. Gun of this tank is nightmare for me. For me personally, after I am playing the game with this vehicle, I cannot sleep for a whole night because I I, I feel like um, I have spiders walking on my head. This is how I feel like while playing with this vehicle, fellas. What can I say? You know, I, I think honesty is a very important thing. But all in all, uh, time can work, especially in the competitive mode. I have seen many, many excellent players playing with a CS63. Uh, and looks like people are enjoying this tank. So I have now I have a question. Maybe I low bullet this vehicle for randoms as well um, For giving such a low score of the three uh, of two out of five stars Which is putting this tank below average. This is what I am thinking Maybe I was way too mean for this vehicle if I do not like the tank and if I hate the tank maybe it doesn't uh, maybe it doesn't uh, um, means the tank is horrible right let me know in the comment section down below and what do you think an overall rating three being average um how much this vehicle is worth i am i am very curious about your opinion because i'm planning to increase the rating for this tank but now the question is how much if you know what i mean okay so we are starting the game relatively slowly um my mission at this point is to probably get position somewhere here and as you can see our heavy tank by crossing go up to the right i don't really want to make that much pressure after looking at this fellas i don't want to get so involved if you know what i mean i have no doubts whatsoever they have snipers over there um and i am just paranoid to make a hardcore pressure and now one more thing if i am not going to make a hardcore pressure like this right who can outspot um, everyone sitting here in the back? This is the question as well. And it is not um, easy to answer into this, if you know what I mean. It is not easy to answer. At this point, we are going to be calm and we will stay put. We are not going to go that much in front to just simply go in and say blah, 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 blah. It is not really worth it and I do not feel like we want to do that. By the way, for some people who do not know that, there used to be a bug on CS63 when even in the speed mode you had a reticle which was fully zoomed in. Um, it was quite a journey uh, to play with this vehicle and to see others playing with that vehicle. It was fixed very, very quickly. I think it took a day or two to fix it, uh, but it was quite an interesting thing to see uh enemies going on the full speed and hitting absolutely everything that was madness okay so what is the correct approach for us in this game what is the correct approach Ooh, by the way uh one more thing to say this time with this vehicle you need to spam the full gold um i think this is one of those vehicles when you just simply must load the full gold ammunition, otherwise you are kind of useless, if you know what I mean. I truly want to highlight this out. And yes, I don't know, is it visible, um, my hatred towards this, uh, towards this vehicle? Um, I hope it is not so visible, but I hope, 
I made it clear to understand it is not my favorite tank, right? And in the end of the day, obviously, I'm trying to do my best and uh, I am trying to play as good as I physically and possibly can with this vehicle. Okay, what is the plan and how we can do this? I believe it's fair to say already... Um, it is very complicated game to push in this battle it is a rocket science okay it truly is meanwhile i have a feeling enemy leo might sit here what is the chance of him sitting somewhere over there probably low because i would get spotted myself i assume i'm trying to figure out where enemy team is if that makes sense um this is very complicated map to make pressure you can't push like this you can't push like this you can't push like this you know you cannot push like this if enemies are having safe defense parameter which they do um it is extremely hard situation to make it work it just is so we need to be patient i don't really think it changes the fact we are playing with a cs 63 or leopard in this situation i think it would be kind of the same um the same grind if i can say so it is one of those maps when it is hard to do something that's what i think side of the t32 rep okay i have a feeling someone is trying to make pressure like this well we just saw that because three fallen Okay, what is the chance of this T-30 trying to go up here? Mistakes were made. What to do, what to do, what to do? This is the question which I have for you. Very hard. Mm. I'm trying to craft something smart, but you know, one, one idiot once said, if you do not know what to do, uh, don't do anything um, If you are wondering who is that idiot I am that idiot So we need to figure out the way uh, To do the things without taking too much risk And without um, You know sacrificing ourselves If I can say so Oh yes this is exactly what I want to see How are you doing <laughs> Damage Damage, fellas. Damage. Twice in a row. I am feeling so much better after this, you see? All, all we need to believe. That's all we need to do. He's kind of safe. Now the question is, will he make a mistake? Oh, yes, he will. Okay, gun worked pretty decent against the Key 91, okay? We need to we need to highlight this. The gun treated us relatively well. K91 lost his patience and obviously he went in front and he took one for the team. Good. This is exactly what we want to see with any vehicle. To be fair with you, we want to allow enemies make mistakes instead of going in front ourselves and taking one for the team. Right? In this situation, we are just trying to secure the middle and we are trying to be very very patient. Uh, and simply punish enemies instead of getting punished ourselves, right? I know, I know, not so simple, not easy, but, fellas, it is not all the time easy, you know? See, yes, full hit points, idiot. Sorry, mate. Repairs are expensive. I needed to do <laughs> I needed to do that, fellas. I needed to do that. I like the situation of the guys going going in front, taking one for the team, and after that crying all the time, you know? Uh, it is it is very, very good thing. I appreciate that, and, uh, you know, sometimes we can troll a bit, if you know what I mean. Sometimes we can troll a bit. Okay, we are getting spotted this time. Uh, I assume they have someone sitting here or someone sitting here. That's what I think. Okay. 
how we can do this. I want to cover this Lorraine for obvious reasons. I think it is very, very important to do so, but let's get real. Let's be honest, fellas, and let's try to uh, put them, let's try to put the thing straight. Uh, yes, nothing is here, but nobody spots for us. I, I still don't want to, I still don't want to do this. I don't really think we can go. Although this, this gentleman is quite kind. I, I need to, I need to give a credit for this guy. Instead of going on the full remote, right, he is having a conversation with a, with the allies, right? So kudos to you, my man. Kudos to you. By the way, it's not so simple. If I will move like this, it is going to be bad. Plus, on top of that, the uh, phase one is sitting somewhere here, right? We need to keep this in mind. The thing is, I am, I am pretty sure I cannot cross like this without getting spotted. I will try to do one thing out of curiosity. By the way, one more thing if you did not knew that. Right? How are we doing? One more thing if you did not knew that. Um, Whenever you are chilling in the speedy mode, right, um, your camo is lower. What do I mean by saying this is um, you are losing your camo rating. Not by much, but you are losing a bit of it. So whenever you are relocating, it is kind of easier to, uh, to spot you, if you know what I mean. Okay, what we are going to do, we are going for some blind shots. Here, Leo is here. We are just giving information for our people. Leo is sitting somewhere here in the bushes over there. That's what we are doing. Wait, we have three minutes left of this battle. We are still all right. Such a hard, hard, hard. Map. Such a hard map to play. Okay, now let's think about this. If I'm going here, I don't really think it is going to be that great. Although, I have an idea. If my calculations are correct, I can go like this. And I can start blind shooting uh, guys sitting over there. I'm not entirely sure if there is a corpse between uh, us, but I think we can start beating the living crap out of them. I think we have a good enough angle to do so. Good, that is one excellent. Okay, at this point, what we want to do, we want to get more aggressive work here. Now we need to start doing something. Two minutes left, it is no bueno. So, how we can do this? First things first, I want to eliminate this gentleman from the game. It is important. Good. At this point, we need to pay attention at this. I would highly recommend not to go in. Yep, here you go. Not a big surprise. That was to be expected, to be fair with you. And now we need to craft a bit better angle here. I know about the Leo sitting here. I am very, very well aware of that. By the way, this... Um, I want to highlight one thing. Uh, this gentleman, which just died, Lorraine, he is, he is polite, not because I am who I am, right? Because I am using Anonymizer for this game. But he is just a nice guy overall, so kudos to him. Beautiful. Now we will figure out where exactly there is. One minute left. You see, we have all time. We have all time. I kind of think about hunting this Leo. I'm just going for him. If I need to guess where, in what bush he is, I would say he is here. If he did not relocate yet. If he did, he is going to sit over there then. No? How are you doing? A bit of the ram. I will reload quicker than I uh, than he will because um, I have better DPM. Now we have 30 seconds. Um, I will launch like CS Mother Trucker. I will go and ram him. Now the question is, can we win this game? 20 seconds left. They have way too many hit points. Not a chance. 
Not a chance. 10 seconds. I can hit him once at least. No. See his gun. <laughs> that describes everything. <laughs> If that shot would depend on me, fellas. <laughs> if that shot would depend on me. If that shot would depend on me, that's it. Game over. Game over. Ooh. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Everything is fine. So CS63 in action. Um, it was quite a hard game. Uh, it was actually a very, very hard game, but I think we made this vehicle work and I'm happy how everything went uh, speaking about this battle. 5.2 thousand damage, 1.3 thousand assisting damage. Probably we have a uh, we have a huge bill after this. Actually, not so much. We lost only 5,000 profits uh, or 5,000 credits, and it was very, very, very hard game. For the other games, we are going to get rid of the anonymizer. By the way, because I had an anonymizer on um, when I played with Waza 114, it was a disgusting experience. So I would rather not get more attention, if you know what I mean. Anyways, one one more game, more likely. Let's go. Okay, what do we have? We have Murovanka and Counter Game. This is this is quite a, quite a journey, and this is quite a complicated map for this. We have Manticore. Our scout is so much stronger than enemy Sheridan is. So he might provide us with quite a bit of the assisting uh, um, or spotting, I suppose to say. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have enemy CS sitting somewhere here. We are going to sit on the corner, at least for now. That's what we are going to do. And here we go. First mistake. Beautiful. Very, very nice. We want to eliminate enemy light tank as soon as possible. Whenever enemy tank, whenever, whenever enemy light tank will be eliminated, we can start playing. By the way, I will get a bit more aggressive here. I know how risky that is, but I am up to take the risk. Sometimes it happens when I want to play with a devil, okay? And this is the situation when I want to do that. This position is extremely powerful if you are not going to get spotted. Now, obviously, if Sheridan will spot you all the time, this is not looking that great. By the way, we are sitting hold down against them, against them, against them. We are feeling relatively fine here. Um, only one problem is the guy sitting here, but I don't really think uh, enemies will have anyone here anytime soon. Meanwhile, Sheridan is trying to keep me spotted. That was big bada boom. You know what that means? That means uh, Jack Pizda just missed his shot. Woo! Lucky me, I guess. Lucky me. Okay. Super Conqueror, how are you doing today? Beautiful shot. Unfortunately, he hit my fuel tank, but that is very, very well deserved. Okay, I don't like this anymore. Oh, I don't like this anymore whatsoever, fellas. I don't like this. Okay, turbo mode. Now, see you never. Okay, let's try to relocate a bit. Let's get out of the turbo mode, and at this point, I will wait until the Mister Super Conqueror will make a mistake here. I think that's what I want to do. Our Super Conqueror is saying, "Raise the PP." Indeed, raise the PP, my man. Um, this should be good angle, beautiful. Pay attention, fellas, at the angles. Angles are the most important thing. Beautiful. By the way, the Super Conqueror, he's still blind shooting the same position. He still thinks I am there. No, no, buddy, I am not there. Beautiful. The gun is working extremely well in this game. It happens when the gun is just treating us right. And this is what we want to see, if you know what I mean. This is what we want to see. At this point, we are relaxing. We are just waiting until enemies will mess up and until enemies will try to get a bit more aggressive over there. That's what we are waiting for. Relax, take it easy. We have all time in the world of tanks. We just need to be patient. We just need to be patient. As you can see, I'm not sitting on the corner and waiting here. It is not the best idea um, by us. And the main reason why am I saying it is not the best is uh, 
um, unfortunately but if I will get spotted here I still have the three seconds delay and I won't uh, realize that oh, yo, 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 yo. while I was destroying this house to make a bit better angle for our team unfortunately I missed the opportunity to hit them it's okay let it be let's try to relocate at this point um, what we can say we can say very simple thing uh, the weakest flank of the enemies is over there right so our team can definitely push this and be the living crap out of everyone plus on top of that looking into all of this the 277 is going to be the last shrek left of this game at least that's what i want to believe wow how our server got spotted that is unique that is unique to say that the least aha uh -huh. okay that makes sense thank you very much for information Thank you, we appreciate you. Let's try to hit that E3, not so simple, not so easy. Okay, unfortunately we cannot help our C, um, our 277, I don't really think we can help him. Obviously we are trying to do our best and we are trying to craft as good angles as we physically and possibly can. At this point this gun is behaving like Leo gun. Uh, I'm not even joking. This is one of those games when the when the gun is actually working and when we are going to craft an absolutely amazing um, result. <clears throat> this is how it looks like to me. Anyways, speaking about Wazam, that was no aim shot. I'm still surprised how we managed to track this gentleman. You know, after games like this, I am thinking, is it even real life? Um, is it even real game, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we are capable of spanking everyone left, right and center? This is, this is the thing I am talking about and thinking about. Okay, how we can do this? Let me think. I'm a bit afraid of the Sheridan. I think the Sheridan will go here and I have a feeling he might have CVS or something. CS 63 is trying to be aggressive. JP is the Grilla. I want to spank spank the Grilla. Grilla obviously spanking me back. That is fine. I deserve this. I was a bit greedy here, fellas. I cannot say anything about this. That is greediness from my side. Okay, let's see. What is the chance of the CS-63 going up here? What is the chance of the CS-63 going up? This is the question. Well, JP is this going through the middle. Grille is going through the middle. Hi, Grille. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good, Grille is dead. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What to do? What to do next? What to do next? This is the question. I think I am going to take this position here and I will start farming Mr. JP's then. That's what I think. I cannot really penetrate his cheeks that easily, but I am going to play the German roulette. Sniping cupolas like there is no tomorrow. I know about art. Don't tell me about it. I know. I know. I see everything. Okay, how we can get involved and how we can start spanking them? This is the question. Sheridan relocating. Sheridan is dead. That is a good news for us. This fully hold down, I don't like it. 140 probably sits over there. If he is not going to get involved into this game, it is kind of a game over, which is a very good thing for us and good news for us. Bad aim. That is not um, a gun fault. That is my fault. I just aimed at this badly. Wow. Such a beautiful one. 140 is exactly over there. This is where 140 is sitting at. So now our Estarva should be able to spot him. I am just chilling and I am waiting until our, our guy will spot him. And here you go. He is in the big bad trouble. I mean, it worked fine in this game. If the gun would work like this all the time, uh, it would be absolutely insane time. Um, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. That was a beautiful game by the CS63. That was very, very beautiful. 
Anyways, let's teleport to the scoreboard. What a beautiful game that was, fellas. 6,000 damage, 2,000 assisting damage. Beautiful, beautiful game. And the gun treated us relatively well for this vehicle standards. Um, obviously, we lost quite a bit of the credits. Not a big surprise. I believe we will recover from this. I believe so. Uh, very, very good game. Okay, let's go for one more. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, an extremely open map, wide map where mobility matters. We are playing in Tundra. What do we want to do in this kind of situation? We want to go on top of the hill. That is the plan, that is the hope, that is the dream. We had pretty disgusting spawn to be fair with you, but I don't really think it changed the fact we can actually go on top of the hill without bigger problems whatsoever. Although, looking into all of this, we arrived at the hill together with a budget, Leo, and so on. Hop, 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 let's go, 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 nice, okay, we have a hill, now this is going to be so much, so much better situation for us, let's get rid of the turbo mode, and now we can play the game, now we will try to annoy the enemies as much as we physically and possibly can, maybe see some sniper schnitzels here, speaking of the sniper schnitzels, I'm calm. I I am calm, okay? I know how the gun is looking like of this vehicle. I'm very, very well aware of that. It is such an RNG fiesta, it's not even... Ooh, it is such an RNG fiesta, it's not even funny. By the way, Dead Star is saying, Oh, thank you for sports. I don't know which one of those two, but yeah, actually this one. Thank you. We appreciate you, mate. Okay. Let's load some gold, and at this point we can try to be annoying towards this E5. By the way, one more thing to say, this tank has a decent uh, upper plate. What do I mean by saying decent upper plate? If people are not shooting gold at you, there is a big chance they are going to bounce. This is very important thing to say. Um, it is not happening all the time, but it can work. And if this individual will load the um, heat ammunition, then I am kind of doomed and I am going to take one for the team. By the way, he has extremely good gun handling, but I am baiting him. I am playing with him, you know? I am in his mind and both of us are having uh, a good time. Did he give up? Did he give up or his baboon? Now this is the question. Did he give up? I don't know. I am not entirely sure. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is a very, very weird uh, behavior. He might be baboon or alternatively uh, he gave up. One out of two. Both of the case scenarios could, uh, could work and both of the case scenarios could be true. By the way, this badger is sitting here in the back. How we can deal with him, I have no clue. If I need to guess, he is not baboon and he gave up, honestly. That's what I would guess. Okay. How we can make it work, fellas? How we can make it work? We are losing this game by 2,000 hit points. 2,000 HP. This Leo is doing a great job by proxy spotting. It is a good play, fellas. It is a good play. How we can make it work? Think skill. Think. Think. Excuse him. The thing is, once again, he is just proxy spotting us. We cannot get closer to uh, to the edge. We just simply cannot do that. I am loading some gold ammunition just in case. And I think they are mentally preparing for making pressure on top of the hill. That's what I want to believe. That's what I want to believe. can do this by the way I'm very focused on the game fellas I'm trying to figure out how we can be involved and how we can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow it is very hard game Oopsie. we have way more forces here the death isn't coming boys and girls ladies and gentlemen I can promise you that the death isn't coming A 
such a hard way to find the angle. If I would give away the hill, what we are going to get from all of this? Because they are preparing for pressure, I can, I can guarantee you that. They are close and they are going to make pressure anytime. Let's try to eliminate him from the game if we can. Actually, I'm done. It's not worth to stay on the hill. I know it might sound weird, but skill, 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 skill. Why it's not worth it? Because it's not. I will reload quicker than this gentleman will, it does, so it doesn't really change whatsoever. Have a good one, enjoy yourself. And now we need to run. How we are going to run? That is a different question. Don't really think we have anywhere to run at the first place. Yep. Okay, death incoming. I wonder he was baboon or he wasn't baboon. This is this is the question. This is this is the most important question of this game, fellas. That's what we have. I am accepting this. It's fine. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. Okay, we are back. When I am rewatching the current situation, I think I needed to um I needed to farm this E5. I think he wasn't baboon, and I am thinking about this, and I think he was not baboon. He was armor act, his fuel tank was damaged, I think he simply gave up in the, on life and he simply raised PP. Well, um, what can I say? Lucky UE5, I, I was mistaken. Anyways, speaking about the score, top by experience, fourth by the damage, not great game, minus 23,000 credits, nothing what I can do about this. So... After three games, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, our performance is uh, astonishing, to be fair with you. 4.5 thousand average damage, 1.7 thousand assisting damage. I think we made it work. Beautiful. Do I love this tank still? No. Do I want to rate this vehicle a bit better than I did before? Yes, I do. I think I need to increase the CS63 rating and I think the tank is... Uh, um, I think it is me as a problem not making this vehicle work i think i will i am planning to increase it to, to the four stars but um it doesn't change the feelings from my side it's far away from being my favorite tank anyways thank you very much for watching and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace